Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Riddell and welcome to another Tutorial Bucket Tutorial. This is an update to our original digital foundation makeup tutorial that we put out a couple of years ago and again, well overdue for an update with a much higher quality image this time. What is the effect of the digital makeup? Well, it looks like this. We take an untreated image and we then apply the digital makeup effect and as you can see it provides a very nice skin smoothing effect it's almost like a powder effect one of the big complaints about doing skin smoothing corrections is they tend to look far too plastic you wind up with models that look like Barbie and Ken dolls but this technique avoids that problem completely it does retain all that good skin detail okay let's see how we go about doing this first we need our image to be copied so we're going to destroy this copied image by using a special filter called high pass I'll just make my copy and I'll rename it I can learn to hit that properly yep's high pass smooth I'll call this and we're ready to go now this is a two-part job to make this correction so what we need to do is first go into the filter menu go to blur and choose Gaussian blur now when we get the Gaussian blur dialog box up you need to find a setting that is going to blur the details to the point where it's still recognizable but not gone completely so you need something around about this sort of level of blurriness now this blurriness is going to be used to create the skin smoothing but here's the trick you do not press OK at this point you just make a note of the number so in this case it's around about 9, 9.5 so we say cancel now why do we want to cancel well the trick is we have to run another filter first the filter is called high pass it's under the filter menu under the other high pass now from the high pass dialog box we then add in the blurring amount that we saw in the Gaussian blur dialog box so that means it's a radius of 9 9.5 I'll settle for nine in this case because it's easier what we have to do after we apply this is we're going to do a little bit of mathematics and a Gaussian blur so we say OK and we have ourselves a high pass version of the image set to a factor of three we go to the filter menu one more time and we return to the blur Gaussian blur dialog but this time we take the radius and we make it as close to one third of the amount that we used in the high pass so we use a setting of nine so we'll set this to three and then say OK there's a fair bit of complex mathematics behind all of this but it's the result that counts in this case go to your layers palette find your high pass smooth layer change the layer mode to overlay now if you can't see overlay I just might drag my camera up here so we can see that change the mode from normal to overlay just drag my camera back there we go and now that we've got it set to overlay we're going to invert the entire layer so that means go into image adjustments and invert shortcut of course you should all know these PC control I Apple command I okay and there is the effect you've now got this very very nice smoothing I'll just turn off the layer so you can compare very nice powdery smoothing along the skin surface so what do we now need to do well obviously we don't want to smooth everything we want to retain details for hair for eyes and for lips so if you have a mask in place you can just apply a mask or you can do it one of the old-fashioned ways I'll just use an alt add layer mask if you're using the Mac that will be an option click on the layer mask that gives you a pre-filled layer mask and you can then take a brush usually something 
medium size and fairly soft, medium soft. Set the paint to white and then you can start to paint in the smoothing that you need. Now I've got the opacity for my brush set to 50% here. You can set it to 100% if you're feeling particularly brave about it all. But you just paint in the amounts that you need in the areas that you need to have good skin smoothing. It does a very, very nice job. Really cleans up and evens up those skin tones. Dulls down some of the worst flash glare if you have flash glare problems. It's a very nice effect. Now again, for the sake of fun, I'll just throw away this layer mask. I have already prepared a selection, so you might want to have a look at this. It's called Skin Tones. I'll just zoom out so you can see that. And I've already masked out the areas that I would like to have smoothed and not smoothed. So I'll just load this up. Go back to my layers and I'll apply that selection to my smooth layer. And there we get the result. Very, very nice indeed. I'll just compare once again. Yep. That looks very, very nice. Now to really fine tune the effect, and this can be fine tuned endlessly, the opacity is the way to go here. If you find that it's too much of a powdery effect and the masking or painting in doesn't do the job for you as well as you'd like, go into the opacity and just fine tune with the opacity. Dull it down if you want less of the effect or turn it up if you want to have the full on effect. So I'll just screw this down to about hmm, 75%, somewhere around there should be good for me. And I think that is a pretty good bit of skin smoothing without losing any skin detail.